I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm way behind. I don't even have a screen region set up. I'm probably losing at gate crash or something right now. I, I don't even know. Okay, no, it's, it's full tilt. It hasn't loaded yet. Somebody's trying to load this on their HDD. It's me. <laughs> oh, man. Hi, Tomo. I appreciate all the HDD users allowing me to get back in the game here. Okay. And again, if you're, if you're watching on YouTube or you're not watching on YouTube, honestly, I, I, I semi-apologize for how much Fall Guys there is, but I, I'm apologizing because I love it. Can you really be mad at someone for loving something? A, a very smart person once said, if a, lot of people, if a lot of people loved each other, the world would be a better place to live. Who was that? The Dalai Lama? Nope, it was Tommy Wiseau. Halfway through uh, the 2003 movie, The Room. I just love these little beans, man. I, I don't know what to say. I just, I, I love the beans. And I'm not afraid to say it. And I'm not scared to, to, I don't, I don't care if you know it. Did you see us sneak through that? Holy cow. Incredible. It was Devoin shower handle. Nice reference. Nice reference to uh, key and or peel. I don't remember. I, I'm going to say my memory is that Devoin shower handle was played by peel. Okay, that was close. That was close. We're not moving through this one. I, I would have recommended a move there. It's peel. Ooh, that should have counted as crossing. I I think I just cost us the game. I think I just my my greed my I'm in awe of your greed. I can't make it. I see more than five people. I deserve that. I deserve that, honestly. You going to see nope? Um I probably won't see it in theaters just because it's it's still hard for me to get to a theater. But I'm eager to see it I would I, I'm optimistic for it I know we talked about it before um, but even though us falls apart under the slightest bit of uh, criticism <laughs> thought maybe is is one way to put it um, I still liked it. I still would say it's like a seven, seven and a half, maybe. It's just an entertaining movie, as long as you, uh, when they start to explain how things happen, you just go, nah, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna hold this against you too much. Hi, Tom Mall. Hey, buddy. Yeah, good performances. I like Tim Heidecker. Us is just vibes. It's got some good stuff going on. Servers are down. I haven't watched Get Out and I've had the Blu-ray for like two years. Get Out is like, it's it's a, a watchable, a very, very watchable movie. Because there are movies that are good and then there are movies that are fun. Get Out is good and fun. It's like, a, you know, a John Wick or an Inception or something like that. It's not like, uh, you know, the artist where you're going to have to sit down and I know this is going to be good, but I have to focus on really appreciating it. It's, it's good and entertaining moment to moment. It's not like the lobster where you have to meet it halfway. You don't even, you don't have to meet it halfway. You have to meet it like 10% of the way there. Quotation marks, fun. It is fun. It's fun. I'm not saying it's fun like, you know, your favorite movie of all time, which is probably National Treasure. What I mean, I guess maybe a better descriptor would be that it's not dry. It's, it's saturated with entertainment. Adaptation is goaded. Adaptation, low-key, not my favorite Charlie Kaufman movie, but probably the best Charlie Kaufman movie. 
Also an insane Nicolas Cage performance. Can you just get this? We've been carrying this damn strawberry home from the grocery store. Please, please stop getting in my way. I don't have friends. They disappoint me. I can live with that. I'm thinking of ending things is better. Yeah, if you're like looking for a sleep aid, I would personally really recommend uh, something like I'm thinking of ending things. I'm going to the moon. If you're looking for a movie that squanders an incredible cast, I'm, we're not going to make this one either. Yep, yeah, okay. If you're looking for a movie that squanders an incredible cast, including Jesse Plemons, Tony Collette, David Thewlis, then yeah. Then then I would uh, I would definitely recommend watching I'm thinking of ending things. If you're looking to watch a, a two and a half hour long movie that requires you to read four hours of analysis after the movie to understand what they were trying to communicate, then I would really recommend watching something like I'm Thinking of Ending Things. Ass to your take? Go back to film school. Go watch Wavelength, the 45 minute long movie that starts with a zoomed in shot of a door, slowly zooms out to reveal an apartment, pivots slightly, and then zooms in on another door. It's one of the most remarkable films ever made. If you don't like it, oh, sorry, sorry you're dumb, apparently. Sorry you're stupid and couldn't appreciate it. The vibes were off the chart. You don't even understand that movie has some of the best key gripping of all time. It also has, ironically, some of the worst best boy work I've ever seen. However, I'm not going to hold that against it. It broke new ground. My favorite film? Mm, I would have to say Fritz Lang's uh, German sci-fi classic Metropolis. And then number two, mm, The Wolf of Wall Street. And number three is The Dark Knight. Number four, I would have to say, is uh, the Lumiere Brothers train approaching uh, the screen. That one, it broke new ground in cinema. Number five, I'd say Whiplash has definitely got to be up there. Somewhere else in the top ten, I mean, personally, I think the American Film Institute overrates Citizen Kane a little bit, although I do appreciate, you know, what it did for, for film at the time when it was released. But sure, maybe number seven. I would say number eight, um, probably Independence Day or Jurassic Park 1. Number nine, I'm thinking that maybe that would be Adam's Family Values. I know a lot of people prefer the original, but I like Joan Cusack's turn as uh, Fester Adams' fiance. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm not qualifying again. You blocked me. Sir, I had I had one last chance at greatness and you blocked me. I'm washed. I'm actually I, I'm washed in this for sure. I'm washed in fall guys. Is it do, do people have Fridays off? What even was that bit? That's the built that's the bit of the 23-year-old man who comes into Twitch chat to talk about how how dumb my film takes are. His favorite movie is something that he is not actually his favorite movie. He simply uses it to signal to other people that he pays very close attention to how respected film is. And then his second favorite movie is actually his favorite movie and it stars Christian Bale as a man who's also a bat at night. Dan did it. Stand up, Daniel, take a bow. It's over. Holy cow, congratulations. I'm not even, because the first question that popped in my mind was, what are you going to play now? Ignore that. Just revel in it. It's a Herculean effort that you've now accomplished that many people, myself included, said, well, maybe, I always said you could do it. I just said maybe you wouldn't consider it worth the time investment, but... <laughs> Oh yeah, we weren't even running the casino. And that's, now you can answer that question.
Congratulations. A true gamer. I'm hoping I get another push notification on my phone. There's a caterpillar. Is this a bad caterpillar? I don't know. Is this a bad caterpillar, Chet? Is that a good caterpillar? Hello, honey. Okay, should I... Should I set this caterpillar free? You should probably just free it outside, would be would be what I would say. Well, cupcake? You see a cupcake? They say eat it. That, that's a super auto pets. Uh, Hi, honey. Does it turn into a waterfly? Hi, honey. No? You say no when I say hi? Oh, no. What kind of stickers did you get, honey? Octopus sticker? Yo, look at that. That's amazing. That's awesome, honey. She got an octopus sticker. That's Ruka's toy, yeah. That's Tomo's house, you're absolutely right. Hold on, I'm thinking about Frasier. I'm, I'm running straight. Zero of 25 still qualified, I'm not feeling too bad. You, you changed my gravity, why would you do that? It's your gravity too. What do you say, honey? You got daddy's water bottle. Thank you. Did you have fun with mommy? Daddy, drink. you want me to drink the water? Okay, here we go. She ran away. When I made the sound, she ran away. Hey, come back, come back. Honey, come back. I mean, it sounds bad, don't get me wrong. Does she like the cats? Yeah, she, she likes the cats. Um, Tomo just runs away. Ruka tolerates it. He tolerates some attention. Okay, time to lose. Ruka, Ruka. So we just explained to her, like, you gotta be gentle, you gotta be gentle with the cats. Sometimes she puts all of her weight, like, right on Ruka's neck, and then Ruka, like, runs away. But I'm like, you know what, that's just... That's just a necessary step. Honey, can you come see Daddy? Daddy's picking up some penguins that are not actually penguins at all. It's okay, just just chill, just chill. I don't even think you worry about these guys. You actually just guard one and then wait till he dies and then steal it from him. Or it's a race and I am losing. Ooh. That's good, I'm glad. One more butterfly in the world. You going up? You, if you're going up, oh, you're not going up. You're not. You're, you're going nowhere. Oh! I briefly had one. I got two seconds. We're not going to make it. Come on. How are we going to make this? Why are you grabbing me so much? I don't have a... Okay, we need that one. We need that one. We need that... I, that's not fair. I had dibs. Holy cow. Bro, stop. We're not gonna make it. Like, oh my god. Dude, I hate... <laughs> I hate Peg. This is actually the worst game in the pack. Uh, give me tail tag over that any day of the damn week. They actually drop, like, four penguins for, like, 40 people. It's madness. It's, it's actually tail tag, but worse. Okay, we lost before the finals on that one. I'm four out of four on that game. We're not the same, okay? 
There's skill-based matchmaking. I have like 275 crowns. They, against my will, they imported from the Steam version to the Epic version. So now I'm playing against all the people who have won like all the Twitch rivals that have ever been done. You're playing against little kids. I'm playing against like 37 year old dudes with a beard that goes down to their knees. We're not the same, okay? I'm in the, this is the damn NHL. And then you're telling me in Pee Wee Hockey you scored eight goals? Yeah, because the goalie doesn't know how to go down into the damn butterfly and he's like three foot nine, okay? I'm out here playing. I, I got Andre Vasilevsky squared up. I, I got to get past uh, Sergeyev and uh, uh, what, what's the Swedish guy's name? Victor Hedman. Just, just to get a shot on goal. Then he's got a 987 save percentage in game sevens. You don't even understand. Anyway, oh, this actually is like a, a, a huge advantage. We started in the front row. We can't lose. One of the best things that can happen to you in Fall Guys is that they just spawn you at the front. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> I think the baby's crying. You're absolutely right. Don't worry, she's, she's being well taken care of. Sometimes babies just cry. I don't know what your your experience dealing with infants is, but you can do... It's actually like one of the most annoying things as a parent is when someone goes like, hey, your baby's crying. You're like, yeah, they're a baby. What's your excuse? As parents know, babies just cry, man. It's not to say they don't want something, but the idea that if you were like a perfect parent, your, pa your baby would never cry is is delusional. Oh, sorry, I thought you just didn't hear the cry, my bad. It's all right, thank you for your good-natured help. I appreciate it. Hey, we qualified from round one. Stare, stare. Oh my god, I, I saw the jungle theme and I thought we were on Penguin Pool Party. I was about to Alt F4 out of the game. I can do this one, I can do this with one Rhino, or I can do this with three Rhinos, as long as there's a spinner in the middle. That's, that's my prerequisite. Th oh no, it's three Rhinos vanilla. Alright, that's a problem. This is the worst possible outcome of those of those matrices. I mean, if we really wanted to get insane, I also think I learned on this one that you should you it, number one, don't get hit by the rhino. But if you can't not get hit by a rhino, at least stand in the middle so you're not like I used to run around the edge, and then if you get hit once, you're you're done. <laughs> Hey, your baby's crying. Okay, you got me, you got me. Oh, you mean like that, like you're doing right now? You know what, as, as an olive branch, I'm launching Fall Guys, we're running a truly psychotic casino. We're running a new Fall Guys casino, it's only gonna last 30 seconds. Will NL qualify this round? I'm actually popping out the casino. Yes, no. We're gonna like increase the, the speed that the casino runs. We're gonna run six times the bets. The stakes have never been higher. I had one million points 10 minutes ago, now I'm destitute. You can't blame me for that, that's, that's madness. If you walk into a casino with one million dollars and you place $250,000 bets, you're gonna go broke. That's bad bankroll management. It was irresponsible of you to have that many points without reading a little bit about bankroll management. I'm not, here's the thing, I'm not running the casino until you see the game, which you just saw right now. You got 30 seconds. You, you'll probably get 10 seconds to bet while we play. 
But that way you you like if you're looking at this, you're probably like, hey, NL's actually kind of cracked at night fever. I think he's got a reasonable chance to make it through this one. Like this is one of those games where I'm like round one night fever. I give myself like a 90 percent qualified chance here. And if, if that goes wrong, then I'll apologize. OK, I'm taking it down to 80 just because I'm in the back row. We should do like, you know, online casino live odds. Odds have now, I would say, risen. I would say my odds have risen to about, um, we'll take 83%. Reasonably good first section. I would say we're now looking at around an 85. I would say we're now at 90. It's almost becoming the lock of the week. Okay, I'd now say that we're at uh, 82. I didn't know that was there, honestly. I apologize. I didn't know that was there. We're going to wait for one round here. We're gonna, okay, I, I would put us back in the 90s. I would say this is the lock of the week. If you're not war chesting on this, you're not paying attention. 100%. We're digging 100%, baby! Nate Silver has called the election in favor of us qualifying. Pay out the belief. We had 88% belief on that one. That's fair. That I'm actually, I'm okay at that game. I don't want to say cracked because we qualified like 22nd. But we did start in 30th, so... Betting in Dan's chat has screwed me up for yes, no. Dan needs to read the design of everyday things. Nobody says, hey, we on for dinner tonight? No, we're yes. The default is always that yes goes first. In, in user experience, it goes yes, no. It goes yes on the left, no on the right. Yes on the top, no on the bottom. We have standards for these things. We're, we're, this is what separates us from the beasts. It's because it's blue versus red for him. Okay, we got some fruit. I'm launching it up. Dan's got a, a bit of a psycho casino. I respect it, honestly. And now, can you loan me some points? I'm a little bit, I'm not very liquid right now. Honestly, I would love if they, if Twitch introduced point lending that was tied to the Federal Reserve Fund rate. Can I, t so last July, hold on, I gotta focus on this. We got three blackberries and one dragon fruit. Last July, I got an email that said, we're giving you a special bonus rate in your savings account of 0.75%. Which, and, and the thing that's most messed up about that is that it was actually, like, that's pretty good. At the time, at least. Three blackberries. I got an email from my bank yesterday. They said, hey, we're willing to loan you money for a line of credit you didn't even apply for. You know what the interest rate is on the loan? Prime plus four and a half. Four bananas, three pears, one coconut. Four bananas, three pears, and a coconut. Ooh, get owned. Four bananas, three pears, and a coconut. Four bananas, three pears, and a coconut. Four bananas, four bananas. Prime plus four and a half is standard. Yeah, but prime is like two right now. So they're basically charging me triple the current interest rate because of the Fed outlook. It's insulting. We got four durians, two bananas, and two blackberries. Four durians, two bananas, two blackberries. Four durians, two bananas, three blackberries. Four durians, two bananas, three blackberries. Four durians, three bananas. No, we're all we're all chilling. We're all chilling. Okay, I I played the players on that one. I played the players. <clears throat> Holy cow. That's the lock of the week. 88% yes on this one. You guys are crazy, man. Holy cow. You think Fall Guys is a good game for kids? Yeah, why not? Non-violent. It's not gonna. I'm not gonna say it's not gonna irritate you on occasion, but I think it's, it's definitely an E-rated game. Good game for kids. Kids can understand it. It's got three buttons. 
It's actually a bad game for grown men like myself. There's no reason that this should be raising my blood pressure so much. I don't know, man. I'm like, I'm like 60-40 on the swiveler. Especially when I start at the back. I'm war chesting. You can war chest. I'm just saying, like, be careful. That was amazing. Holy cow. I am swiveling. Did you see that? I'm taking that damn inside track. Whoa! I don't think I've ever had to jump over those before. That's okay. I, I had to take a hit or dive, and I, in my head, I calculated they would both cost us the same amount of time. Why do I hear grabbing noises? Is that really where we're at as a society? Grabbing on the swiveler? I'm okay. I'm okay. Please end. I'm okay. We're going over. We're doing nothing. We're going over. Please. We're going over. We're going over. This shit never ends, man. That's okay. Don't grab him. Let him fight it out. That, he's dead. He's gotta be dead. That's the most insane swiveler I've ever seen in my entire life, man. We had some goaded runs there. Holy cow. That, there was some good swiveling, man. Dive under is top tier. Holy cow, I'm receiving compliments. Oh, suck ass at fall, guys. Base level competency on display gets compliments. Cracked at super auto pets make one small mistake. People are like, uh, you're the worst player of this I've ever seen in my life. It's twisted up, man. I'm okay. I'm not saying I'm going to qualify because it's, it's a tight lobby. Probably only seven people are making it. But I can play bounce party. I'm not I'm not horrible at bounce. It's not an instant loss like Penguin Pool Party. Eight of eleven qualified? That's not too bad. You should bounce on this. What are you pointing to? What are you pointing to when you say that? I want the gold. We get, we do one more bounce. We take the goldie. Cracked. Cracked. We're not going to get that gold. Accept it. Embrace it. Try not to have to dive. That way you can keep your momentum. That's my bad. But that's okay. That's big. The point density on that is out of control. Big dives. 8 of 15. Feeling pretty good. Keep my momentum. Well, I can't help but feel it would have been better if not all of you were stepping on my head as we try for that one. One qualified already? Honestly, that person's probably going to go on to win this lobby, and that's okay. That's bad. That was not a good time to fall down. I'll take my one. This is looking horrible. If we can get this one... And then we can't get that gold. Accepted. I thought that was 15. I thought that was my 15th. And I was like, when I passed through the hoop and didn't disappear, I was like, what happened? Okay, we pay out the no betters on that. The casino's kind of cracked though, man. I lost literally every round. What do you want me to say to you? That you thought I wouldn't make it through a round one night fever. I wouldn't make it through a swiveler. I, I wouldn't make it through some fruit. Then like in the hardest round that we had against the, the highest level of competition. You're like, yeah, this is the one. This is the one. 
people like the rapid casino i'm happy to hear that dude really bet no on some fruit i mean i've failed some fruit the first time i played it but that's just I still stand by it. They use the same font for the countdown as they do for the number on the screen, and I just got confused. You almost failed that time, too. I'm telling you, they spawned a Blackberry somewhere where I couldn't see it. They spawned it on, like, the opposite side of the map. I should have done, like, a little circuit first to look, but... Okay, DoorDash, a little spicy. It's nice to be close to the front. I've seen NL fail some fruit like five times. I think I've only played some fruit like five times. That's, that's intellectually dishonest. It's not even intellectually dishonest. It's just dishonest. I think it's just a damn lie. We out this? There's enough room for everybody. There's no reason for us to cannibalize one another. Okay. Hate the sin, love the sinner. Where are we going? Right there, love to see that. Honestly, this is a great game to be part of the pack. I thought about grabbing somebody. I'm a little sick. I'm a little. This game's changing my personality. Huge. Dude, what is it? Vanilla DoorDash? We take those. We pay out the 91%. Dude, that's. I know we won. But 91% is crazy. There was some arbitrage on doubt there. Because DoorDash is like, it's a little luck driven, man. Game isn't changing your personality. That was the dual bacterial infection in your gut biome. I, oh, the whirly gig. I've chosen to take it as good news that the antibiotics were not that effective against the bacteria. Because I was worried that it meant, like, because everyone was telling me these infections only happen if you are, like, in the middle of the Amazon rainforest and get bit by, like, a weird frog or something like that. I was honestly like, well, my immune system must be, like, fucked up. But then, the antibiotics killed the bacteria. And I was like, thank God for antibiotics. Then my doctor called me and was like, actually, the antibiotics didn't do shit. And I was like, whoa, I knew it. I'm goaded. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm built different. Thank you, doctor. Th doctor, that's amazing news. The, the medicine you prescribed me didn't work? That's incredible. Woo. Beautiful. Nothing wrong with this. That's a classic little whirly gig right there. We're, we're sneaking through. Oh, you know what? I, this is horrible news. I haven't had my probiotic drink yet today. What was I thinking? I need that 50 billion bacteria, man. You know what? I'm a simple man. We, we've got a bets on qualify. We don't have to take the center and have it screw up our whole mojo. I'm going to do two cycles even. This thing is fast as hell, man. Holy cow. We qualified. Look at that. I bet doubt hoping for a center rush. I'm, I'm, it, it's changed my philosophy, man. I'm not driven by the tapeworm anymore. You could add another option for qualifying in first. You know what? Oh, but then like some of the games don't really work like that, right? Like, the Swiveller doesn't really have, like, a first. Tail Tag doesn't have a first. I think we just gotta keep it simple. Because then I'm, like, I'm spending too much time in the damn wires. Like, don't do it for those games. But then I have to manually type in the bet on the ones where it matters. Like, just, let's just let's enjoy a good thing while it lasts, okay? Hoopsie legend. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna say anything. I'm very interested to see how the bets play out, and I'm very interested to see how the uh, how the round plays out as well. I'm not saying anything. Keep it simple, my brother in Christ. I'm literally addicted. Okay, I mean that's fair. I I can't. I mean obviously the signs are there. Okay, we're going up. 
Forget that goldie. It's fool's gold. Come across here for no reason. I just want to control some space. Oh, I'm really glad I came over here. Where there's uh, seven people competing for... Yes! Okay, honestly, great dive. I, I have to give you credit for that dive that you got there. That was amazing. Well done. You're so lucky because I had that shit on lock. I really wanted this one. Holy cow. Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Give me some hoops, man. I probably could have competed for that gold. This is killing me. I'm being, I'm being killed. I'm being cybernetic, uh, psychically destroyed right now. Oh my god, I'm not going to become the Joker. I, we gotta move it, man. Honestly, fuck you. I'm not making that. Just be smart, okay? Holy cow, I hit hoop. Why do people get so damn good at hoopsie, man? No! Okay, I can't blame him. I should- I would have done the same. I would have done the same. Let's acknowledge. I would have done the same. Okay, you're, you're not going for that one? Okay, okay. Just one hoop, man. It's, it's one hoop, Michael. How much could it cost? $10? I deserve that. Holy cow. Kind of... There were a few incredible plays in there. That's what you gotta do to qualify in Hoopsie Legend now, apparently. You gotta wait till someone jumps, then you gotta grab them so they fall to their death, and then you gotta take their hoop. Otherwise, it's like trying to buy a house in Oshawa in 2021. They got three houses and they got 75 bidders. No, that's okay. I don't need to see it. I don't need to see it. Sure, I'll pay over asking. Sure, I'll pay in cash. Sure, I don't need an inspection. I waive my right to an inspection. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Tail tag too. This is why if you make the finals, you deserve to make the finals, man. Oshawa reference? I've been to Oshawa a couple times. Oshawa is where I saw the movie Aliens for the first time. I know you're gonna ask, was it in theaters? No, I was not alive, much less old enough to see an R-rated movie in theaters in 1986. Um, I, I played in a, a bowling tournament there once. My aunt used to live there. Not today, Rosie the Riveter. Not today. I'm holding this shit for all 70 seconds. Imagine not being alive in 1986. You know what? I actually, um... I read an article today blaming millennials for inflation because there's too many of us and too few resources to go around, which is our fault, I guess. Um, because we had ourselves, I believe. We conceived ourselves. Um, anyway. Hello. Saved? Not saved. He's gonna catch me. Just kidding. We're insane. Anyway, long story short, it finally provided what I would describe as an accurate delineator for, or at least a universally agreed upon one, for elder millennials versus young millennials. And the delineator that they used was, if you're over 31, congrats, you're an elder millennial. And I was like, okay, finally, I got some confirmation. Most deserved tail tag win in history. Actually, the most deserved tail tag win that's ever happened. Also, can, I, somebody needs to check on the dude that we kited for like 45 seconds. Because we... <laughs> 
I thought that at some point he would have been like, okay, this guy is too cracked. I'm going after a different tail, but he, he stayed on me the whole time. Blast ball. Okay. Full disclosure from the casino, I've never won this game. By the way, to make the finals through Hoopsie Legend and Tail Tag, this is like the damn Montreal Canadiens making the Stanley Cup Finals last year. I mean, you know they're not gonna win because they're playing against the Lightning. But like, just to make it is inspirational. Right through the center hole. It was worth a shot. Actually insane accuracy. Don't, 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 we're fine. We don't need to, we don't need to fight you. If you're close to me, you're an ally. We have no reason to fight one another. The only people who are, I'm scared of are far away from me. Oh, that was bad. Okay, go ahead. Okay, literally every piece of advice I've... You got me. Fair enough. That was honestly just a great hit. Honestly, I, I can't even be mad. That was well done. It was a good shot. We did not qualify from this round. You knew what the bet, man. Don't, don't, don't be intellectually disingenuous. Don't say, well, I don't know what qualify means in the finals. That shit only works in the fourth grade, man. This casino mode makes Fall Guys that much better? Dude, I'm, I'm happy to hear it. Anything to keep Fall Guys going until Elden Ring 2 comes out? You can't pull that shit on a dad, man. You know I have to, I have to keep my model for how the world works as consistent as possible because a child just their whole existence is trying to like find a hole to poke into it in order to get their way. I'm like, what do you want for dinner? Do you want mac and cheese or do you want a quesadilla? She goes, um, 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 cupcake. I'm like, come on. I can't get you a, I, you're not going to eat a cupcake for dinner, okay? That's insane. I gave you two choices. They're both good, okay? I've actually, I, I know that the, the meme is I've never eaten mac and cheese. I've sampled, I've, I've collected the dad tax on a little mac and cheese that the baby's been eating. And I'm like, holy cow, no wonder people love this food so much. This is, it's extremely good. <laughs> it's... It's literally just butter, cheese, and noodles. Uh, my God, it's... What was I... Why did I wait so long? Yeah, I've never really had lasagna either. Okay, hold on. Send me. But she's not eating lasagna yet. That's kind of like an advanced food for a, a 21-month-old. But when she starts eating lasagna, maybe I'll collect a little bit of the dad tax on that too. I don't know. You know what I want to see? I want to see Lily Leapers. Because the speedrun of Lily Leapers legit looks like anyone could do it. Like, literally, it just looks like diving. Obviously, it's not that easy. But I want to I wanna see it prove to myself. Because right now, it seems easy as hell, man. Holy cow, we are zo We're still zooming? I've, dude, it's so nice to be up at the front of the pack. Holy cow. Nobody's needlessly attacking anybody for no reason. Everybody's having a good time. We're all letting each other just run the course. I didn't even know this could happen. I thought it was baked into the human condition that we, like, hate on other people. I, I qualified in second place. It's Utopia. The top of the damn heap is, is the best place to be. Let me, let me pay out the yes believers on that one. Holy cow, 89% of people bet on yes there? Have you seen me play? <laughs> I mean, you won, but have you seen me play this mode before? That's like a 60-40, man. That's not a 90-10. I'm trying to just avoid, like, the overconfidence that can come from, like, I made the finals last time, so of course I'm going to make them every time. Just be, I'm just saying be careful, okay? 
Tepto. Tepto is literally random chance. If anyone tells you they're good at tiptoe, they're a scam artist. Except Apollo, he's actually good. He knows he knows the best time to take risks. Now, in the last game, you want to be at the front of the pack. In this one, you want to be at the front of the middle. There's no reason to throw your life away. Shut up. Just shut up. You got plenty of time. They literally copied this from Squid Game anyway. What the hell? I don't want to be at the front. I don't want to be at the, I don't want to be at the front. I don't want to be at the front. It's the end. It's the end. Go, go, go. <laughs> Ooh, a little 57% yes on the tep toe. Dude, not, I, it's probably latency, but nothing aggravates me in tiptoe, like when the run is revealed, and then the people in front of you are like slow to move. It's like the speed of light is the same for both of us. Why are you so much slower to, to react? If anything, you're actually closer to the light so the light hits your eyes faster like a like a big pizza pie you want them to be slower than you no because they're fucking clogging the pipes as long as i'm in a qualifying position i want them to go fast so that i can go fast the people behind me i want them to go slow as hell i gotta sneeze <coughs> sorry to the believers i i had to sneeze I, I'm not a hammer launch guy. I'm scared of the hammer launch. Over the strawberry, had to be done. Into the strawberry, had to be done. Okay, I see the value of the hammer launch. Hey, guys, if you could stop getting hit by the berries, thus deflecting the berries into me, Cause I'm like, I'm planning for perfect play. That's just the kind of, those are the standards that I adhere to. If you could stop affecting the path of the berry with your mediocre skills, that would be great for me. That's not, that's not coming down on me. Six of nine, no, no, no. I was still not going to make it even with the pretzel rod. I was going to be 10, but it hurts. It still hurts. Have you made it to a final yet? I was literally in the final about seven minutes ago. We played Blast Ball for six seconds. I'm just, like, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just actually concerned for you because it was six minutes ago. Like, if it was, like, an hour ago, I could be like, I could understand how that would not go into, like, long-term memory. But it was, like, within... You've probably taken, like, less than 100 breaths since it happened. Oh, you know what? We're, we are doing blind casino. I'm going to delete this bet. That's not the way the casino runs. Why don't you do private lobbies? Because I think the chat is better than Gen Pop, so I don't want to play against chat. I mean, I take it from somebody who's been in the business a long time. The viewer lobby thing, it sounds amazing. It sounds like a great way to reward viewership until you realize that you've got like one fucking pro for every game in your chat. And then they win six lobbies in a row and then they type something condescending in chat like, Hey, thanks for the games. I've decided to let some other people have a chance. Just want you to know I love your content. And I'm like, okay, thanks for only doing, uh, thanks for only winning six in a row. I really appreciate it. I understand. I joined Malf Super Auto Pets lobby and I came second to somebody who had we, we, we had a team of all 50-50s, but they had a 50-50 rooster, so they beat me. But that's the reason I don't run viewer lobbies. I trust the skill-based matchmaking more than I trust the viewer lobbies. It's the same reason that I, I stopped playing Magical Wizard Wars. It's like there was, uh, 
we, we did viewer lobbies and then like people that didn't even watch me and were just like budding pros in the $75 prize pool ESL tournaments for Magical Wizard Wars like came into my chat and were like, hey, want to play some games? And then they just like forced themselves into every lobby we did. And then they were like, hey, cool content. Hey, by the way, if you want some lessons, like come hit us up. And I'm like, that's okay. See you never. Okay, I'd like to apologize to the believers. It happens from time to time. That was big though. We, no, we're not gonna make it. I'd like to apologize to the believers. Yep, okay. I, we would have fallen anyway, but I, I would like to apologize to the believers. Dude, that was me? Okay, well then this story's about you. That's by the way, that is why I was telling you to be cautious on that first round bet like 60 percent of people make it on the first round but the bets are 90 10 that was there was like three rounds in a row where i was like be careful because there's a little bit of better overconfidence here i have no money why'd you go all in Sorry, why'd you war chest, I should say? 